Hi, this is Paul from Embroidery Source. What we're going to talk about today is uh, creating cut lines for use when you are printing and cutting uh, logos either on garment vinyl or sign vinyl. And we're using Corel Draw, and I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of doing it. So when it comes to cut lines, there are there are two basic kinds of cut lines that people work with. Uh, one is called a contour cut, and the other is a kiss cut. Contour cut is where all of the external and internal uh, lines are cut out. Uh, that's that's quite useful when you're doing large designs, but when you're doing a small, say, left chest logo, um, that would be an extremely intricate piece of vinyl to have to weed, and it would take a lot of time. So as an alternative, what uh, a lot of uh, uh, vinyl printers and cutters offer their customers is what's called a kiss cut. Uh, and in the case of a kiss cut, you're generating one outline around the outside of the whole logo, and you can make it as simple or as complicated as you would like it to be. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to create a, uh, a contour cut line. And this is fairly straightforward. So what I'm going to do is, um, let me just get rid of this uh, box around the outside. I don't need that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the whole object or the group of objects. And you'll see over here in the right hand uh, color toolbar, I have a couple of toolbars available. One is my standard RGB color toolbar, and this one in the middle is the Roland Spot Color toolbar. Now in here there's a special color called Cut Contour. If I move the cursor over the top of it, you'll see it says 100% Cut Contour. This is important because without that color, and, and without that color name Cut Contour, your Roland Cutter won't recognize the cut outline. So, having selected my objects, I'm now going to right click on top of the cut contour color, and that will create an outline around all the objects, and that outline is using my cut contour spot color. Okay, now that in itself might be suitable for what you want, but you have to bear in mind that this cut line now runs exactly around the outside edge of the printed logo. Now what happens if there's a tiny bit of movement in the vinyl as we're cutting? Well what would happen is you'd have a cut line that didn't quite match up with the printed colored area. So you'd either get uh, a little white area around the edge where there's plain unprinted vinyl showing or the opposite the cut line would be inside the colored area uh, and you chop a bit of the color off. Now we don't want that, so there's, there's a way that we can get around that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate uh, this object. And I can do that either by pressing Control D to duplicate or I can simply right click. In fact, I might zoom out a little bit first, press the F3 key. Now I'm going to right click on that group and drag and there you'll see I can now choose copy here. So I've created an exact duplicate of my first object there. Okay, now what I'm going to do with the duplicated object, I'm going to select it and I want to get rid of the fill. So all I have to do now to get rid of the fill is left click where you see one of these uh, white blocks with a cross through it. I left click there it gets rid of the fill and now all that's left is my cut line which is called cut contour. Now on the original object I want to do the opposite. On this one I'm going to get rid of my outline and to do that I right click this time on the cross to get rid of the outline. So now I have an outline, a separate outline and a separate fill object or filled object but they're both exactly the same size. So I'd still have the original problem of my, my cut lines run exactly around the edge of the colored area. And if there's any slight misfeeding of the vinyl or any movement, the two won't match up. So this, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select first the blue area and I'm going to give it an outline 
and the original color of this blue area you can see down here is is M7150 which is this color here so I'm going to add an extra outline around here using the same color and that makes it a bit more bold you'll see it suddenly gets a little bit fatter when I right click here okay now you can adjust the amount or the thickness of that outline now by going over here to the outline tool left click and you, you see I can choose different thickness of outline. Let's say I choose 0.5 millimeter. That makes it a little bit fatter again. Now I'm going to do the same with the gray part at the bottom. I'm going to select it. That's 30% gray. So I'm going to right click on the 30% gray to give an extra outline around the gray part. And then back to the outline pen and change it to 0.5 millimeters. Okay. So now if I superimpose the cut line on top of the uh, filled area, um, the cut line should be just inside the printed edge. Now to make that easy, I'm going to select all of my cut lines and I'm going to group them. Or I could have just pressed Control G to group it. So now it's one object. Okay, if I move it, everything moves with it. I'll do the same with the bottom part, Control G to group it. And now I select both of them together and I press C and E to center them about one another. Now if I zoom in, you'll see that I have my original filled area that we thickened up a bit and right on top of it we have the cut outline. And if I zoom in even further, you can now see the cut line is inset a little bit from the edge of the blue. So I can be fairly confident now that when I print and then cut this object, my cut lines um, are going to fall within the printed area and the finished object will be the correct size. So what we need to do now is we need to save this file in a format that the Roland cutter can read. So we go to the file menu and we select export. We choose a destination. In this case, I'm just going to save it to the desktop of my computer and I'll call it Paramount Logo only. But the format that I want to choose is EPS. So here it is, EPS Encapsulated Postscript. Why do we choose that format? That's because Encapsulated Postscript format can contain cut lines, which your printer will understand, but it can also contain uh, bitmap objects as well. In this case we don't have any bitmaps because I created the object, object in Corel but I could have imported a bitmap into Corel and then created a cut line around the outside in which case when I save it as an EPS format it would save both the bitmap and the outline uh, cut files as well. So Paramount logo and EPS format and we click export and 300 dpi is fine click OK and that's it. You can then open up that file in, uh, in your Roland printer software or VersaWorks and you can you know, duplicate it, get the printer to print it in a, in a grid format and it will print the colored interior, in, interior parts and then it will cut around the outlines uh, leaving a little bit of an overlap on the outside so you should get a perfect print and cut design. Thanks for your time. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a kiss cut for exactly the same logo.